There are two types of entities, point entities and mesh entities. To create a point entity, switch to the Entity tool. You can select which class of entity will be created with this field. Clicking in the viewport will create an entity of this class. Below this are some entities that get used a lot, like lights and items. You can also just create the entity first and then change its class in its properties. To open the Properties window, double-click the entity or press Alt-Enter. In this menu you can edit the properties of the entity. These are called key values. Each class can have different key values. For example, lights have key values for their colour and brightness, and props have a model key value. Entities like props, lights and NPCs can have different variants as well. For example, prop static are props that can't move, whereas prop physics can be moved by the player. Unlike in Source 1, entities can be scaled just like meshes. To create doors you should use the class Prop Door Rotating Physics. To create a mesh entity, create a mesh with the block tool, then select it and press Ctrl T to turn it into an entity. It will default to the class Trigger Multiple. There are also other mesh entities such as Funk Move Linear and Trigger Traversal Modifier. All entities can communicate with each other using outputs. Outputs have three parts. The event that causes the output. These options depend on the class of this entity. The name of the target. You can type this in or you can click the dropper icon, then click the entity you want to target. If it does not already have a name, you'll be prompted to give it one. Lastly, the effect to have on the target. The options here are dependent on the target's class. Here the light will turn off when the player enters the trigger mesh.